I'm with the Democratic Party, so of course we're going to be fighting for traditional and customary rights of the Native Hawaiians. So that's one of my favorite things to do. It's fighting for the aina, aloha aina, malama aina, that is what we are all about. So here we have the protectors of Mauna Kea. So we're all very attuned to that. It's a big, big revival of the Hawaiian culture, the Hawaiian identity. It's, it's just awesome. It's really awesome. Now with all of the suppression that has been done is coming out and we're seeing loads and loads, thousands of Native Hawaiians and non-Hawaiians coming together for a common cause, which is to protect Malama Aina Mauna Wakea. So I ask you all to support as we all want to make sure that the Aina is taken care of. We have seen all of the adverse effects that has happened. Red Hill, for example, on the island of Oahu. That is an issue when you've got 20 military underground storage fuel tanks and a huge, huge release in 2014 of 27,000 uh, petroleum. We need to do something about that. Then you've got the island of Hawaii. In addition to Mauna Oakea, you also have Pohakuloa training area. There you've got live fire. And it's a long lease, a 55 year lease, I believe, that they have. Not that many years left. But what they have done with the last 40 years, they have failed to check to make sure that the U.S. Army has kept the Aina as clean, pristine as possible to make sure that it's not being uh, degraded and any damage done. However, DLNR has failed in its duty to do that. And that's why it is now up before the Hawaii Supreme Court. And we've got also the water rights bill. So there's, there's a lot of things in which the Native Hawaiians, non-Hawaiians, we all love the state, we all love the kingdom, we all love the aina. Please, take care. Malama aina. Mahalo.